how to upload nfts on soul c marketplace hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about soul c and how you can upload your nfts on this marketplace so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it so for those of you who don't know soul c is like the next open seas so what that basically means is that it's also an nft market but since everyone is using open seas there's been a lot of traffic there the gas fees has been out of control and people are just paying hundreds and thousands of dollars over an nft which they shouldn't have to that's what soul c intends to do it tends to you know take some of the burden off of open seas and become another creative friendly and amazing marketplace for buying selling and minting nft so now that you know a little bit about soul c let's just jump into it now i do have to mention that soul c works on the cryptocurrency called soul so that is the only cryptocurrency that it will take so make sure you have that in your wallet as well so let's just jump into as you can see this is the how the website looks like and as you can see they're pretty amazing nfts over here and you can go ahead and buy and sell all of these in front of you so at the bottom you will see you have three options you have create and your wallet create your collection or mint your nft now let's go ahead and connect our wallet so that we can start creating nft so if, if i click on connect our wallet as you can see we have three options in front of you, us we have phantom we have soul flare and we have others as well so i'm going to go ahead and choose phantom because it's one of the most popular ones connected to soul c and over here i'm just simply going to go ahead and add it to my chrome extension yes over here click on add to chrome add extension wait a couple of seconds for the extension to be downloaded and installed and once it's installed we can go ahead and over to its official website and create an account so as you can see it has just been installed and now we're over here and we're about to create a new account so i'm going to go ahead and create a new wallet and over here as you can see this is the recovery phase we can you always have to make sure you don't show this recovery phase to anyone because this is the only way that you are going to be able to sign into any cryptocurrency wallet it that you might have so you make sure that you don't you know show this to anyone so we're just going to go ahead and copy it okay saved it and now i'm just going to go ahead and enter in my password agree to the terms and services and click on continue and as you can see this is a small shortcut that you can press these keys to bring up the phantom uh you know extension over onto your computer so i'm going to click on continue yes finish let me just go ahead and pin the extension there we go now that it's pinned we can go back to soul c and let me just you know refresh this uh page go back over here at the top and click on the phantom and as you can see i've already connected it so let's go ahead and connect our wallet click on phantom as you can see it, the extension has been opened up it became a pop-up now let's go ahead and click on connect so that account is connected and there we go click on login created an account login successful and there we go now we're ready to go ahead and start creating an nft so you can go ahead and scroll back down and mint your nft over here or go at the top and click on create over here click on create nft and over here as you can see you have a couple of different options so you have to upload a static preview of the nft you have to upload an animated preview if you have one the main artwork file and then add the title add a short description add a longer description add the royalties percentage of the royalty and add an external url basically a link to your website or your instagram page or twitter or discord or wherever you basically showcase your you know previous skills or previous nfts someone is buying them and if they want to see more of your work they can go over there and check them out and see if yeah this person is legit or not so it's important to do that you have your tags you have your licenses collection trades and stuff like that and once you have added all of those to simply click on mint nft so i'm gonna go ahead and upload the image right now so i'm gonna go ahead and upload this image this is it now i don't have an animated file so i'm just gonna go ahead and upload the main artwork file as well so as you can see this is how it looks like and now down below i'm gonna go ahead and add in the title which is a turtle i'm gonna go ahead and write it's a turtle and after that on the description i'm just gonna write that it's simply a png of a turtle this is it that is how you basically do it now i'm gonna go ahead and write royalties the percentage of royalty i'm gonna go ahead and call it like 10 percent and then i don't have a external link so i'm just gonna leave it at that and then in tags i'm just gonna go ahead and write digital 
I'm gonna have like you know drawing on it as well because that's how it is I'm gonna go ahead and add pixel art because it is pixel and once you have done that I'm just gonna go into the licenses and I'm gonna choose the license so over here you have four licenses which have different meanings so we have private use slash non-commercial exploitation what that basically means is that you can use it anything as long as you don't as long as you don't use it onto something like a commercial a place like you know if you're trying to promote a brand or if you're using as a logo you can't do that you can only use it as a per private use and then you have personal public display basically that means you can use it as a you know uh profile picture or stuff like that but non-commercial you can promote anything and then you have public display you can use it on any of your you know uh, accounts whether they're private public or whatever but you can't use it commercially and then you have reproduction slash commercial exploitation this means that you can use it for commercial purposes as well i'm just going to go ahead and use public display non-commercial and then i don't have a collection so i can't add a collection into it but you get the point and then in the traits i'm going to go ahead you can go ahead and add uh, different traits as well so basically if you're uploading like different nfts and you're uploading like limited edition ones like that are rare that are different you can go ahead and add those traits over here like a different background a different color a different accessory that's something that makes them unique like other nft creators do sometimes you know they add like special additions to their nfts that make them stand out from the rest so they have like special edition ones so you can go ahead and add them as well and add the traits as well so since i'm only uploading one nft and it's not that special so i'm not going to go ahead and add any traits to it but that is basically it and once you have done everything all you have to do is just simply click on mint nft and wait a couple of seconds for the upload to process and the files to be uploaded to solsi and also you have to approve the transaction over here they will send you a transaction over to your phantom wallet that you can click on approve but as you can see the fee is you know 0.000001 so but i don't have any money in my wallet so i can't upload the nft but you just have to simply click on approve and there we go you you're basically Basically, NFT has been uploaded onto your Solsi account and it has been registered into your Phantom account wallet as well. So you don't have to go through any hassle. But as I said before, make sure you have some souls into your account so that your NFT can be published over onto Solsi. It's pretty simple. It's really easy. Now, since I don't have one, I can't go ahead any further, get the point, right? So once you have done that, your basically NFT will be minted and created and it will be ready to be sold. And that is basically it. So that is how you upload your NFTs over to SoulC and how you use SoulC as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you can go ahead and also create a collection as well now for the collection it's a little bit different so if i come over here uh, over onto the create section and click on collection you'll basically have to enter in the name of the collection the description and then upload all of your header image upload your icon image upload the virtual professional promotional banner you have to upload the horizontal promotional banner the tags and everything and then start you know adding the supply of your collection minting data collection nft initial price twitter discord telegram you know instagram services and website you have to link all of them and then you can go ahead and click on create a collection and start uploading your nft into that collection so it's pretty simple it's really easy to use so that's how you basically use solsi and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible now having said that if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye